everybody! Welcome back! For those who know who I am and what I'm doing and uh, whoever is watching me for the first time, I will say welcome to my um, channel on YouTube, Grace Carter Maui. And what I'm doing is well, you can go to my website, Angel Readings with Grace, and see my work and also get the personal reading because, you know, honestly, this is showing the major trend, the energies for, in this case, September 3rd to October 3rd period time of 2014, but honestly nothing works like a personal reading with me over Skype or the phone. You get uh, your answers in depth. Okay, now really quickly about what's going on. We're talking Virgo going later to Libra, but in the meantime we have a full moon in Pisces on September 8-9. We have new moon in Libra in September the 24th. Now, <clears throat> interesting, because on an intuitive level, it feels like it's going to be time for on one side confusion, on the other side ending releasing. All this month, this whole year, was full of surprises and changes, and a fast year because that's a horse year in Chinese astrology. And with the Pluto Uranus squares and all these planets going this way, the other way, um, we already changing. We 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 changing, or we changed by now. We ending or we ended already something, even if it was just an idea. Virgo is very practical. It's a wonderful sign. Um, very practical, down to earth, do something, you know, it's done. It's a discipline, organizational skills, it's a healthy way of being. Um, very particular, very the right thing in the right place. A great, great sign. And now, the full moon in Pisces, which is not any full moon, it's the full harvest moon in Pisces, the super moon. Oh, here is Virgo, and here is Pisces, or Virgo and Pisces, the opposite. So, on one hand, grounded Virgo, on the other hand, dreamy, psychic, Pisces. You see what I mean? Heaven and Earth. That's why it's the opposite. But the thing, I think, in September, and I feel it's going to be that we have to have both. And then we're going to Libra on a 20 third. So we have to have both of everything, okay? It's not just being only practical, only what I can see, touch, smell, that's what is. But also what is that you cannot touch, you cannot smell, you cannot hear even, okay? That exists too. Everything is about balance in life. Now, 9-9, nine, nine, let's say, is the full moon. So one says 8, the 9, depends where we are. It's endings. And because it's Pisces, that's what's going to be very important, spirituality. I don't care how grounded you are. If you lacking spirituality, you lacking something. It almost seems like a karmic month. I really wouldn't advise 
to act without integrity in September, especially around the full moon in Pisces. Something like a quick skim, something like drinking and driving, although <laughs> I don't care, full moon, not full moon, new moon, September or October, no drinking and driving. That never ever is a good idea, okay? So that I'm always advising, but particularly this time, if you think you, you're having a couple drinks because it's your best friend's birthday, <laughs> think again, okay? Not good at all, I'm telling you right now. Good for starting a gym, exercise, a diet, because Virgo also stands for, for good health. Um, very good to get rid of the habits that you don't want anymore. That's also wonderful, okay? You have a great chance of succeeding. Also, I wrote a couple things that um, clean the closet, declutter, okay? Donate, because charity is also Virgo's strength. Be kind. Uh, watch your dreams. In fact, try to remember them. Because, especially around the full moon in Pisces, that, that's what it's going to come to you. Many things in your dreams, your spirit, your angels will try to, um, the other side, the spirits will try to tell you something. So pay attention. Heal old wounds, forgive and release. Why? Because Chiron, the healer, it's going to be conjunct in Pisces in that full moon. It's going to be just wonderful. And that's going to make everything like a magic. Anything can happen. So um, be generous with time, money, and possessions. Visit a healer. Have a massage done or even pedicure because Pisces is about the water. Watch for an aha moment like, oh, coincidence oh now I know it may also come from your dreams too create something beautiful use your imagination as again the dreamy creative Pisces and act with integrity for the greater good avoid self-medicating and spend as much time as you can by the water okay then we have a full time starting on the 23rd after sun going into Libra on 22nd and a day later, September 24th, we have a new moon in Libra. Libra is all about justice, fairness and balance. The most important thing, relationships. Especially one-on-one. One-on-one. One-on-one with your partner, with the business partner, life partner anybody but relationships and avoiding conflicts and uh, being kind fair that that's a uh, law it's also uh, justice right so um, that's how it may be and I know already because you know what I just to be positive about my how I feel about this month September 3rd, October 3rd of 2014, I pulled three cards from the um, Angel Tarot, Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. All three of them, and in 78 cards deck is 22 of Major Arcana. All three of them are Major Arcana, okay? Big changes. Right away I'm going to tell you, life changes. First, with the full moon in Pisces, release. Okay, something's going to end in your life. Something will change, like totally change, dissolve. You're going to get, uh, you're going to move on in a different direction. It's like a spiritual transformation. Because don't forget, hello, it's a full moon in Pisces, the most spiritual signs of them all. So, of course, it's a spiritual transformation. 
very important to know that. The next thing is the ma major arcana, the lovers. So intimate relationships, that goes more with Libra already. Good health, that's very good, that's good, make the right decisions, but really it's like a choice. Are you choosing this or are you choosing that? You're choosing this person or you're choosing that person. Don't be in a hurry, okay? Take your time to really get the sense of what is that you need and want, okay? What's good for you. And then justice. And um, it says fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. And that again going through Libra. And that's what Libra represents, justice. Stand for what's right. Don't give in to the way others are thinking or wanting or uh, anything else. So, three major arcana cards. Changes, changes, changes. Now, we're going to put these cards on the side. Now, you remember what it was because it's very important. I got to keep for the Polish reading, which, by the way, I cannot do. <laughs> it's just not the time. Um, on the clock to do everything, uh, to have a separate reading for every sign in two languages, to only four times, that's uh, a little too much for me. So at this time, so uh, what I decided to do a little differently this month is to go again to the same groups, fire, air, earth, and water, but instead of three cards for each, to do three for each sign, which makes Let's say we're gonna start with fire right now. Aries, Leon, Sagittarius, three cards each is nine together. So although we're doing separately, but still is for all the fire signs. So you can listen from the beginning to the end to see what is for you. But we're gonna <clears throat> do it separately as an addition to what I'm doing. So three cards for Aries, three cards for Leo, three for Sagittarius, all of them for fire signs. Okay, Aries. Aries and Leo and Sagittarius because I would like to have this for this deck for each. Now we're gonna do the love cards. I think everybody wants to know what's for them too as well. So we're gonna do and for Sagittarius and then we're going to do Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay, three cards each, but remember, is for all the fire signs. Aries, three of fire, three again, and fire, your own sign, new love and self-employment. Okay, so basically, it's really good. Uh, three of fire is abundance is everything looks really good for you okay um, all you require as a fire side especially is to have a patience because it's gonna it's gonna happen but it's gonna take some time but you can start already make some long-term plans new love hey self explanatory right somebody new will kind of stir your romantic feelings. Wow, cool. And self-employment. Hey, did you think that you should have your own business if you're working for somebody and you're not happy or maybe you need to change your direction? You are a born to be self-employed. So absolutely, don't even think about it. Go for it, okay? Because you're going to see many opportunities for it. When it comes to Leo, Queen of Air, Chemistry, Music for Manifestation. Now, Queen of Air is, you got to make a decisions and being very objective, okay? Um, clear what no longer serves you and have a sense of humor, okay? Leos, have a sense of humor. 
um, you are naturally very independent and going for whatever you like and that's good but don't lose your sense of humor don't become so serious for what you're going after that you really lose fun hello you are the sunny sign right don't forget that chemistry Ooh, whoever you are thinking about you have a very strong magnetic magnetic attraction here that's good uh, and music don't forget about music Leos sing play um, in fact whenever you feel stressed out that's exactly what the angels want you to do have some fun enjoy life sing and and dance and, and sing in the shower even okay because that's really it's gonna suit your soul and Sagittarians the Sun keep an open mind and blessed change wonderful okay a very happy outcome uh, Archangel Uriel is saying the Sun um, brilliant new ideas that lead to success have confidence in yourself so obviously you're lacking that confidence angels say right now and, and know that oh it's gonna work out uh, well keep an open mind when it comes to uh, partners because what you are thinking right now that you know for sure who you want it may be that not at all you may be surprised um, somebody will show up and it's not your type whatsoever and you kind of mm -hmm, but that may be just perfect solution for you uh, a major life change brings you great blessings so something good will happen my fire signs for you especially Sagittarians something will happen that will change for your best okay so this is the fire signs I hope you like this way because we will give you you can replay this couple times and we'll give you bigger uh, you know now one big perception of what's going on uh, so changes changes too as well uh, air signs Gemini Libra and Aquarius what is for you let's first go to Gemini okay now I gotta watch because later goes this for Polish language so I cannot mix that up okay when it comes to Gemini okay first card then is yes it takes a little time but as you can see life that is that's how it's happening okay and by pure intuition that's what I go for oh okay so this is Gemini then we have Libra grace cards Libra You know how I like when that happens, right? It jumps out. It's like angels say, yes, I want that part. And no, in Archangel Michael. Okay. All right, very good. And then we have Aquarius. Aquarius. signs but especially now we're talking about Gemini's all right you have your feelings are real and worth exploring so if you were wondering about a relationship that you know the man woman the partner that you're thinking about um, we, we're talking about real feelings it's good it's all good it's important uh, if you lost any child or you're wondering about any child um, they watched over angels in heaven they save and also um, those who are still alive uh, no worries it's all good so put your mind to rest do some research so if you need 
information, some information about something. Virgo time is also a perfect, perfect uh, time to do research. Um, look into it, whatever you're looking into it, further before preceding angels saying. When it comes to Libra, Libra, <clears throat> silence, soulmate, soulmate, soulmate relationship, and you and your loved ones are safe. So, uh, silence. Um, Libra is the air sign. And air signs like to talk a lot and, let, and, and like to think a lot. It, it's, it's natural for the air sign. That's the air sign. The talkers and thinkers. So, uh, over-analyzing, worrying, all that stuff. So, the angel saying, be still, because the daily dose of silence nourishes the body, mind, and soul. It's going to be very good to you. It's the meditating. Go along to the park by the water and simply be. Shut your mind off and be, okay? Listen more than talk at this time. Soulmate relationship wonderful if you're in a relationship it's it's this either a, someone new or you renewing your relationship um, with a spiritual basis so it's good for you if it has a spiritual base if it doesn't have any spiritual base and this is again the spices full moon most likely it's not going to go well. Okay, so, so this is all about spirituality. And I know Libra, even for the 2014 forecast was, you're going to become more and more spiritual. So whatever is spiritual, it's going to call you more. You and your loved ones are safe. So if you're worrying by any chance, oh my God, it's going to be good. It's not going to be good. Am I going to be doing okay? Um, am I um, am I doing all right? Uh, how is my family that uh, it's gonna be in September or ever? Um, it's all gonna be okay. Okay, don't worry about that. Angel saying it's all good. And when it comes to Aquarius, five of fire, um, conflict with others. Watch out! Watch out! Um, of Aquarius, um, it's it's some kind of competition maybe going on, either family business anywhere, even with the neighbor, and it, it, the details will bother you. Actually, it's gonna be too much about the details, it's gonna drive you maybe a little crazy, uh, but um, unfortunately, you have to go through it, and this month September it's going to be go good for it. So, unfortunately, um, I don't like the conflict, so try to avoid it, especially around the full moon, because it's in Pisces and it's supermoon, it's going to be long and it's going to be uh, very, very emotional. Watch out for it, because you don't like emotions as an air sign. You like the facts, the logic behind it, and here you're going to have probably, uh, you have to be dealing with emotional people in a, with emotional set of uh, situations. And that you're not really good with. So, um, watch out. Deception. You know, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, either your partner, business personal, or you is not fully honest about what's going on in a relationship. And that may be exposed with this full moon, I have to tell you, okay? But for the highest good, it, it shouldn't be any deception. It's not going anywhere when that happens. So time to tell the truth. Turn off the noise. Silence nourishes the body, mind, and spirit. Quiet. So for the air signs, it's quiet, okay? Be truthful, be quiet. Listen more, talk less. Wonderful. Now, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let's say, let's 
see what for Taurus first. Okay, then for Virgo, and then for Capricorn. Hmm. And, hmm. The heart here, because everybody want to know uh, what's going on with the heart. I know. Um, then, maybe here we do this. Maybe the Capricorn. We use the magic. That's not how I always think of it. Fairies is the magic. All right. Let's see what we have. For beautiful Taurus people, we have two of fire, codependency, and belief and trust. Okay, two of fire. It's good especially in this time of September, because you finally came to your own. It's time, it's a good time to have a contract uh, signed up or written up, new partnerships, wonderful, perfect time for marriages, um, and just continue to move forward, because always good, okay? It's good. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Watch out for addictions. And by the way, Virgo time is wonderful to abort any addiction and give up on it and get into a healthy habit. That's what Virgo stands for. So um, if you don't, then your relationship will be affected by it in a bad way. It's a toxic toxic relationship you don't want that belief and trust believe that all the good is happening so be spiritual and now we're talking earth signs oh earth signs they very earthly they they grounded we've been talking about in the beginning okay earth and heaven so you you have to start to believe and trust more that is a lot more than just earthly stuff and if you want something good if you do good you can achieve the good because the angels and God is helping us okay you have to believe in it that will happen because it will happen just be very careful what you're asking for now we have beautiful Virgo three of water Engagement, and this situation is already resolved. Huh, wonderful, man. Three of war, celebration. Okay. Uh, wedding, graduation, birth announcement. They need to have more fun. And usually when this card shows up, is especially the last part. They need to have fun. The angels are telling you, you too serious, Virgo. You really need to cheer up, brighten up, and have more fun, okay? Stop working so hard. Or if you're working, you know, you're working hard, you play hard. Engagement, hmm, your love life is ascending to a higher level of a commitment. That's good, beautiful, congratulations. So something will move forward. This situation is already resolved, which means if you had a problem, issue, and you worried about, don't. Because the angels are already saying, you don't know yet, you don't know all the facts, you know so very little. We see the big picture, and we're telling you the situation is already resolved. It's nothing to worry about anymore. And only you know what that may be. Capricorn, beautiful Capricorns, okay. The Hermit, Attraction, and Perfect Timing. Now, the Hermit. When I say Hermit, right away, uh, it's like a monk in Tibet. It's the isolation, meditation, being alone, and really uh, regain the spiritual sanity, as I call it. Okay, ask yourself what you really want. Not what the others want of you, but what do you need? What are your own...